what role do you think the government plays in, in men's health? Yeah, it's a really good question, Paul. And I think this is um, around health policy, sensible health policy that prioritizes health. And it makes it, it, it puts the structures in place for people to make the right choices. So we've seen some great examples of good public health policy that have been introduced, like banning smoking in indoor places. Mm. Brilliant. I mean, yeah, that has huge, saved yeah. so many lives. Yeah. You know, why we didn't do that sooner? It's, well, lobbying from tobacco industry, obviously, but various other things. So that that's one example. Minimum price per unit on alcohol. I mean, that, that disproportionately benefits the lower socioeconomic groups that are most vulnerable. Um, so it, it, it actually leads to lower alcohol consumption overall. Just simple policy like that, just getting, reducing access to cheap booze where people can yeah. really get themselves messed up. You know, yeah, 100%, it, it's yeah. such a kind of simple thing, but as ha on a population level has a massive impact on health. Uh, the other one is uh, sugar tax. Great, great thing. You know, just making it harder for people to put products with high sugar content on the shelves that people then just buy. And labeling, a, a correct food labeling. So you can see, you can have the kind of traffic light system that you've seen mm -hmm. that's been introduced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just makes it easier to decode what's what's in stuff and you know what's healthy and what isn't. It's just, it, stuff like that is brilliant. There's also uh, a, a bit of legislation that's been held up, which I think will have a big impact. A big one at the moment is advertising junk food to children. Mm. That's still going on. After nine o'clock, isn't it? Going to? That, yeah. That didn't happen though. It was it meant to. Yeah, didn't exactly. It's, it's all been kind oh, of... Oh, really? There's a lot of lobbyists. Yeah. There's a lot of industry interest in yeah. all of these areas. It all comes down to money. Exactly. Yeah. So, money over health. Yeah. yeah. Money over health. So there's and loads of stuff in the pipeline that's, that's just, just been kicked out. The can's been kicked down the road. So there's more work to be done. But I think the government and, and policy is, is a massive part of the puzzle in, in men's health. But that's not necessarily something we're going to influence as your average everyday yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, unless you're politically active, you, know, you can vote for governments that have progressive policies like that. But yeah, I, I, for this conversation, I'll try and focus on what we can actually do you know, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. within our locus of control. Yeah, yeah no, 100%. Yeah, no, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Mm. I think certainly with the, with, the, with the kids stuff, you know, I think, I'm not sure of the exact numbers, but I know there's a bit of a sort of an overweight and obesity problem with young children as well. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's huge. Yeah. It's absolutely huge. Like I pick up my boy, mm. obviously he's a little bit older and so many children are overweight. Yeah. 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 Like I'm not, you know, like not just a little bit. Yeah. Not just a little bit. And I know they had COVID and a lot of them were just sat around and they all come from different backgrounds and yeah. you don't know what their home life was like and stuff yeah. like that. You know, whether their parents were, you know, just get out of your room, play mm -hmm. PlayStation for... Mm. six eight months nine months but mm. i think in general like i think schools can do a lot more yeah you go back to like yeah. the jamie oliver you know he used to go yeah. in schools and, yeah oh. and and he got rinsed for that which i find crazy because now i look at it my boy he'll would, he would do vegan mondays mm. or vegetarian monday sorry mm. which i've got no problem with mm. but he'll come home and i'll go what do you have you got pizza mm -hmm. i'm like <laughs> You know what yeah. I mean? Like you, you're trying to spin it in a in a healthy, positive way, mm -hmm. and then they give him rubbish food. Yeah, and then he'll come home. We we said the other day we he he's he's quite a bright boy, and he'll he'll do well on his maths test, and they reward that with a donut. Mm -hmm. So then in the end, I have to go and tell him like no more donuts because they would do it all the time, and it's a really good school he goes to. It's not it's it's one of the top Ofsted reported schools in in the southwest of the country. Yeah, so. If they're getting that, then what's the other schools getting? Yeah. Do you get what I mean? If that's the top school, uh, primary school in the country, uh, in the southwest, mm. then what you know the the lower end schools doing? What are, you know the, the the school meals are terrible, yeah. terrible. Yeah, he yeah. comes home, he's like, "That's like dog food." Yeah. I'm like, "Really?" He's like, "Yeah, terrible." Yeah, it's when I was a kid, it probably hasn't changed much. It was the options were largely chips, battered sausage, chips, yeah. chips, chips yeah. and battered sausage was what yeah. most of my contemporary. I was a loser. I ate the, the set meal every day, which was <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. had some veg in it. Yeah. Right. But most of my mates would just eat the chips and battered sausage, or maybe some like battered cod or something, you yeah. know, and that because you, you could. You know, there's nothing stopping you. Just lather, lather it in salt and vinegar and, and ketchup. Yeah. It's just like it's a it's a train crash of a meal, really, yeah. nutritionally. And that, but that is. I used to have turkey twizzlers. Can you remember them? Vaguely, turkey yeah. twizzlers. They were terrible. They were like processed oh, and barbecue that. sauce. They even stopped them. They were like sawdust. Yeah. Well, that's what we had like twice a week. Yeah, we had something called a space burger, which was I like a space burger. Yeah, well. space burger. It was just like a patty of meat with yeah. I think sauce or cheese, and it was yeah. it was in pastry. 
Yeah, it was, it was it, like a pastry yeah, burger. You saw, you saw yeah, pickle yeah. in it. You saw pickle in it. Oh, mine did. I, no, yeah, I wish they pickle. did have that. I would have eaten a lot less. It's a very high in pickle. salt and fat. Yeah. You know, no, very, you know, nutritionally just kind of derelict, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Terrible. And Terrible. It, the crazy thing is, it's such a missed opportunity because that is a formative period in your life as a child where you're, we know that fat kids become fat adults. Yeah, yeah. 100%. It's, it's a sad yeah. truth. Yeah. And you, your, your habits and your kind of, your behavior and your relationship with food is forged in those formative years. And if you're going to mess kids up by giving them that kind of food in school and that yeah. becoming their normal yeah. De- day to day, yeah, day yeah. To day. De- then what yeah. hope have they got in living fulfilling healthy yeah. lives but i don't know what even as a as a parent what what can i do about that nothing yeah. really like we damage we limitation mate. yeah exactly like, damage limitation we, i think an education 